So this is a new toy I just got for myself, a 12 needle deluxe felting machine. Pretty excited about it so far. About a year ago I bought this little guy, which was a big disappointment. Just wasn't sharp enough, didn't go fast enough, I could do better by hand. So I've been waiting, finally gave in, picked up this one. This guy was like just under, I think I actually got it for like 75. I got a good deal, but online you'll see him for around 100. And this guy I managed to get for 330 thanks to Amazon. Pretty excited, and it came really fast. So when I first got it, I tested it out on this piece, which I quickly stopped because as you can see, it really makes a an indent. So I've been kind of rubbing this with a little heat and friction and I'm able to get the speckled marks out but no two self hand felting and machine felting have two totally different effects so I will never do that again but uh, here's my first piece that I made playing around with it I'm sorry sun just came out um, it's interesting it's got a texture almost like a really gritty watercolor paper it's so different but one thing I learned right away, um, you are going to want to loosely place your wool and kind of do a first pass hand felting over it. Because if not, this will, the machine will kind of like pull it and you'll get gaps. And I had to go over the sky like four times before I figured out how to do it better. So another thing I noticed is it's really easy to over felt. You can see how thin it is in some spots because it started to break up the background. So another thing to be wary of, but this I did probably in like four hours playing around with it and I could do more. I'm not so happy I started adding on the light here and because it was thin, you can't get that same detail as you do by hand and it really pulled it apart and I took some of it off, which is nice because another thing you can get it off fairly easily if you haven't gone at it too much. So. Yeah, there we go. There's a layer off already. Oh, huh, like it better already. Okay. Um, here's another little piece that I played around with. Um, I was using, oh, there we go, bits from the dryer that I collected because I felt a lot of sweaters to make my animals and sometimes you get some neat little pieces. So I was playing around with like how thick can I get it. And this, okay, I had it for a day in the first like three or four uses, I've already broken five or six needles. But I learned online that you can take your normal felting needles, measure them, snip them, and they're supposed to fit. Haven't tried that yet, I'll let you know how easy it is. But yeah, a neat little effect. I just sewed it into a pouch so it wasn't like a total waste of time. And then I experimented with cutting out pieces of felted sweater and felting them on, and this went really quickly and I'm excited to kind of build up layers and I think I'm gonna use these to make my felting kits kind of like this fellow here but uh, embellish them with the wool because like you can see I sewed that on won't have to do that anymore uh, yeah so another thing I tried was taking wool and kind of blending the colors a bit by hand and Melting it a bit by rolling it in my hands and then putting it through the machine. So this is the end result of that. Oops, here we go. And then I cut out a piece and then felted that on. So the, I'm thinking of doing this to kind of replace how I've cut out the pieces and do some experimenting with that. But yeah, overall. This was definitely $300, very well spent, super excited. I'm just about to start a background. Hey Leonard. Um, on this piece. So I've sewn kind of my 3D parts. The river is gonna come through here and I've just loosely, you can kind of see the pokes, gone over it to felt on the background. So yeah, you can see I haven't done a lot. All the little bits of blue show where I poked it. So I'm gonna do a few more loose layers here and then I'm gonna take it to the felting machine and uh, kind of see how that works out. And this is gonna be a combo of machine and hand felting and I'll give you updates as I go so you can watch the progress. Cool, thanks.